Well, everyone, today is the official release date of Bayonetta 3. And if you don't have a Nintendo Switch but want to play this game into your PC, then this is the perfect video tutorial for you. Because in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how. So what you need to do is to have Ryujinx Emulator installed into your PC. So for those who are new, what is Ryujinx Emulator? Ryujinx Emulator is a Nintendo Switch emulator. It can play Nintendo Switch games into your PC. And you will need to have these files installed into your Ryujinx emulator so that it can put up and load up Nintendo Switch games. So, if you don't know where to get these files, then let's open our browser and then search for Ryujinx emulator. Hit search, then click on this first result. Ryujinx.org is the official website of Ryujinx emulator. Download, then choose Linux or Windows. If you're from Linux, download here from Windows from here on out. Then I'll just skip that part because I have already have installed Ryujinx emulator and that installation for Ryujinx is very easy. So what's the next thing that you need to do? Let's assume that you have already installed Ryujinx emulator. You will not be able to play um, Nintendo Switch games because you will need to have and install these files here. So in order to get these files, as you know, this file is a Nintendo Switch firmware and the latest Nintendo Switch keys and the Bayonetta 3 in XCI file format. You can get these files from a modded Nintendo Switch, which has a custom firmware. You can copy that files into your PC. But if you don't have a Nintendo Switch and you don't know how to uh, mod your Nintendo Switch or have a custom firmware or you don't own a Nintendo Switch at all, I'm going to save you the hassle of um, uh, getting the game and getting the firmware. I'm going to show you where to get them. I'm just going to minimize this um, emulator app here. And I'm going to put on a QR code here in the screen. Just scan it into your mobile device and then it will redirect you to the page on where you can get the firmware file of the Switch and the keys file of the Switch and Bayonetta 3 game. Okay, then let's assume that you have gone to the QR code website that I've sent to you. Then you will have and download the Nintendo Switch firmware and keys. Then it's time to install them. So go back to Ryujinx, then open file, open Ryujinx folder, and then go to system, and then keys. And then just copy these files here, drag and drop. This is your first installation, then this folder would be empty. So I'm just going to close on that. And then go to tools, go to install firmware, click on that, choose the firmware version, then open. Wait for it, then hit the yes. Then it will say system version 15.0.06 will install, then hit OK. So once you have done that two things, then you, then your Ryujinx emulator will detect your Nintendo Switch games and will be able to play uh, Nintendo Switch games from here on out. As long as you have an XCI or NSP file format of the game. So as you can see here, I have Bayonetta 3 and I have played 26 minutes with it. Let's go to options so that let's optimize Ryujinx emulator to play Bayonetta 3 with it. Just pause this, this video to copy my settings here. And then go to input if you have Xbox, a PlayStation, or a Nintendo Switch Pro Control, just like mine. It will be detected here. And then just uh, put on the triggers here. Then hit save. Then go to system. Copy my settings here. And then most important part is this. Expand DRAM size to 6 GB. Ignore missing service so that uh, you will not encounter any issues in playing the game. Because if you don't have this, uh, there will be lots of random crashes in the game if you don't uh, activate this to Nux here. So I'm going to go to graphics. Just copy my settings here on Vulkan, then set your graphics card, then your resolution. For me, it is 1440p and just hit apply and save. And then let's load up Bayonetta 3. A little bit of disclaimer, I'm not going to show you guys uh, gameplay but i'm just going to show you that the title screen that the game boots into the title screen and then i'm just gonna stop the emulation so that i will not get in trouble with nintendo 
and in YouTube so that my video tutorial here will not be removed in YouTube. So, so this is where I stop because I am now here in the title screen. Bayonetta. So stop the emulation. Uh, I'm just gonna say that the game runs 30 FPS in the cinematic mode, and then also it will uh, play uh, 60 FPS during uh, fighting scenes and gameplay of the game, and the game runs perfectly quite well. So if you have some questions, troubles, or anything like that, just leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will try my best to answer all of them. See you next time, and goodbye.